I want to keep this to <clears throat> an extremely, extremely um, short video. And um, in this video, all I really want to write down in this video is this. 7,920. Okay, this is apparently the Earth diameter, which is 2,160, which is the Moon diameter, which equals to multiply it by 3, which will equal 6840. Okay, is that is that right? Which will equal uh, 6480 times 3 plus 1440, which is the minutes in a day, equaling to 7920. It's, it's, it's extremely perfect. Now, 7, okay, which is our gateway, because it takes you from here to here, then all the way down here. This is the seventh gate. Okay, there's many ways you can do it. We can stop over here if you want at number five. But we're going to stop at the seventh gate. Here's my seven. I stop at the seventh gate, and we bring the nine birth. When the nine birth comes in, that is the dot on the eye that we bring in over here. This seven goes over here. That's your eye. You want to reverse it? We'll do it over here. This will be nine. This will be seven. Uh, excuse me, this will be 9, this will be 7, um, this will be um, 1, no, yeah, and this will be 3. So if I'm putting the dot on top of the 7, the gateway, and then the dot, what the gateway in, is it letting me in and bringing me out in the 1 position? If I switch it this way, it's in the 1 position. Let's do it this way. In fact, Let's start this whole thing over so maybe you can see it. Whoop, there goes the camera. There goes the camera. Let's fix that a little bit. There goes the camera again. So much for that, eh? So let's fix this up one more time. We bring in the seventh gate. The I is over here, number nine, number seven, number three, number one. So we start in one, we get nine, nine is born. It goes inside of here, through the seventh gate to altered current, and down into one. Or it is the one spirit dot that goes all the way into here and comes out, boom, the birth inside the mind, nine and seven. Now when we turn it down this way, if numbers and coordinates were different or the same, we would have to say that never move. These numbers never move, but this does move, okay? So when I move it, and I move it only half a turn, okay, or, or actually I move it up to this way, okay, I put nine in this position. Do you remember I had this? Now I'm putting nine in this position. Over here is now number one. Over here is number nine. Over here, if I if I remember correctly, is three. And over here is seven. Did I get that right? We're very close to it. So when you have the dot on the eye, is the dot from here from the seventh gate all the way up to here. This is what low shoe does to numbers. It brings the one into the eighth position. The letter R inside of Neptune. It brings nine inside of Venus. And the two letters you use are N and Z, the 26th and the 14th letter leaving you at 12 and 40, equaling to 52 Earth or 28 cycle of the moon, which is 28 keys, 28 keys to the right side of the piano, where that 24th key Okay, the 24th key is number one. It's the split center C. If you count it as three, or you count it as the one key that splits the 23 to the left, three plus two equals to the five, or the 28 to the right equaling to one, five and one, vibration two, three, four, vibration runs through Mars. And everywhere I look, vibration runs through Mars, and it is the split of the 258. Now, where does the 258 split over here? The 258, if I understand correctly, um, the 258 um, split right over here. Two, five, and eight. That's how you get seven, eight, nine, right? Two, five, and eight split right over here. 
in low shoe. Let me see if I'm getting this right. Um, I split this over here. This becomes over here. Oh, no. The 8 is over here. The 2 is over here. The 5 is here. This is 4, 5, and 6 that come over here. Um, I don't want to stop at this. So this is the N and this is the Z. At the same time, you see this here? Because of the center, you would have this side and you would have this side showing me your, your coordinates of your H and your I. So your N, Z, H, and I, which spells Heinz, and the total value is 26. The short value of Heinz, okay, is 14. This is 14, this is 40, but it's 8 and 5. Matrix, silver matrix numbers equals to 13. 8 and 9 equals to 17. 8 and 9 is 17. 8 and 5 is 13. Equals to 30 and 57. 30 is half the clock. Take away that 3 seconds from the 60 seconds on the clock. G&E electric runner of the moon. We started out with this 7920. Well, if 79, if the 7 was made up of 2 and 5, that same 2 and 5... Uh, Oh boy, I don't remember where we got that, but irrelevant, okay? Irrelevant, because 5 continues on to the next side where 1 does not. What 2 is on each side of 1, right? Here and here. That's why 2 and 5, Earth, continuation. 2, 5, 9, 20 is the Mayan count. Did we follow this up? 1,440 minutes in a day. 3 times the moon diameter. 79, 20 is the Earth. 7, 9, 16 equals to 18. 52. We don't even want to think about those numbers. So now I'm six minutes into the video and I really didn't do uh, much, uh, but I do want to get in and out of things. Accept and refuse. I'm going to do it on the next page. Oh, no, let's not go to there yet. We're going to go to G and H in the word laugh gives me the F sounds. In the word P and H, it gives me the F sounds. G and H gives me 7 and 8. The P is the 16th letter. 1 and 6 equals to 7. The H is the 8. Equals to 15. Why is it plus 1? Equals to 15. Let's just leave out this over here. I don't remember why I have this here. Oh, uh, okay. Um, okay, just let's leave that there. Equals to 15. P and H. And remember, 7 and 8 in the deck of cards includes the six. It's six, seven, and eight, which have the six of the seven and eight um, 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 images are all the same, except for the ones in the center where seven is inside of eight. P and H gives me the 16th and the eight equaling to 24. Four times four, four plus four. Four plus four equals to eight. Four minus four equals to zero. Eight and four is a representation of Pluto. Now, I don't remember why I have the eight, but I will tell you that one and eight come together because where there is one, there is eight that's surrounded. One and eight, equaling to 39, letter O, letter X, XO, and you're in the heart of 93. Hoover Dam, Herbert Hoover, Hoover Dam, 31st and 30th president, 30th president to the same number I just showed you before, 30 creation inside Heinz. Heinz 57, red inside creation of one red moon, or who produces the red moon is the big red sun. Half of this, 19.5, 1, 5, and 9, A, E, and I, the three major vowels in the alphabet. 189, the spirit of the high sky. So we're going to keep this video to this 10 minutes right now. Um, I want to get into opposite letters in the next video and the numerological separation between all opposites are very uh, unique. I seem to see a lot of 20s that are dividing it up these, um, these numbers. Uh, Raphael, 7286, in a constellation of Pegasus. Uh, thank you for watching. Yes, I will bring up one more thing. I was looking at a design yesterday on the 8 ball in pool where I saw the top part of the ball was smaller than the bottom part of the ball thinking that this ball goes all the way around the other ball in one scenario. Another thing is when you see the eight ball like this forget about this dividing line okay forget about that dividing line just think of these two circles inside let's let's say we take 
uh, the eight like this, right? We do this. That looks just as much as the eight when all. Of, anyways, let's not count that. The other thing was the torus. The day and night, the P and H between day and night, is because right here, this area over here, is what I would call the night. And as these three rotate around each other and around here, thinking that this is Earth, the three continents of Earth, not four, not six, not eight, but three continents of Earth, and then we're going to count the North Pole and the South Pole, but just like a balloon, one area is smaller than the other area, just like a balloon, but it's actually, all right, it just seems like the South Pole seems all a little bit off. It's supposed to be completely different. But anyways, let's not look at that. When these three rotate against each other, this part over here shows me the one-third of what we need to create night and the opening here of what we need to create day. And the reason for when we see the moon, okay, when we see the moon is how this is rotated, okay, on these other three elements. Sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't. It's day and night. We sometimes see the moon during the day. But the minute it comes to night, somehow there's two other elements, one, two elements plus us that can roll over each other, continuation, continuing and never letting uh, the day go from day to day, but from day to night. Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus bringing on the letters. I just want to see some of them. Hmm.